Okay, hello everyone and welcome to my shop. Uh, I'm going to be remaking that video I made a little a day ago or so about uh, testing for capacitor leakage with my Knight RC bridge uh, capacitor uh, tester, which is this guy. Uh, the audio didn't work out too well on that video. I accidentally had the microphone turned down too low. <coughs> Excuse me. And I apologize for the lack of audio on that video. So we're going to be remaking it today and I think I'm doing a little bit better job. So as you can see, we have the night resistor and capacitance tester in front of us. We have a set of alligator leads that I'm going to go ahead and hook up to the unit right now. Okay, and we're going to be testing some capacitors for leakage. So we're going to go ahead and turn the unit on and let it warm up a minute. So I put it on the 50 volt setting and uh, for leakage, and this goes up to, all the way up to 450. So we're going to be watching this eye tube here. And, uh, we're going to be watching that, as you can see. Now, a good capacitor, that, that shadow there on the eye, that should close and then immediately open back up. It should not stay closed or only open part of, part of the way. It should open just as you see it. So here's the first capacitor we're going to be testing. Now, this capacitor is a 0.1 at 200 volt. You can't see it because the... Uh, camera. Let me put it on autofocus here, see if we can see it. Eh, not really, but okay. It's a 0.1 at 200 volt. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hook this capacitor up to the uh, tester like this. We hook our leads up to it, and now we're going to start at 50 volts here for leakage. So here we go. We're going to check for, and this is, keep in mind, this is rated for 200 volts. So here we go. And look at that. It's not even opening the eye at 50 volts. So this capacitor is completely leaky. We're not even going to do a, uh, a uh, well, why not? We'll do a uh, capacitance reading and see if we get any reading. So it should be a 0.1 microfarad. That's right here. 0.1 is on the C3 scale. So we now should look for maximum eye opening right around 0.1 if this capacitor was good. So let's see what we get. Ooh, we just get barely an eye opening all the way down there. And that is not at 0.1. So this capacitor is bad, as I thought, because it's leaky. So now we're going to connect another capacitor here. This one is a 0.05 at 600 volts. And this can only go up to 450 volts. So let's see how this one tests. We've hooked it up. Say we're on 50 volts. Here we go. Now that's how our capacitor should test. This capacitor is testing okay at 50 volts. The eye will close and then immediately open back up. Watch. Do that one more time. Now that's good. So let's try it now at 150 volts. See, now it is good. It does, it does open back up, but it's not opening up all the way. So that is indicating that there's some leakage in this capacitor. Let's try it at 250 volts. And at 250 volts, the eye does not open at all. So this capacitor is also very leaky. Now we'll check the capacitance. It's a 0.02. I'm sorry, if I said 0.05 last time, I'm mistaking. It's a 0.02 microfarad capacitor. So there's 0.01, and here's 0.02. So that's on the C2 scale. So we should see an eye opening right around here somewhere. And we get nothing, absolutely nothing. So this capacitor is bad. Okay. Now, let's test a brand new capacitor. This is one of those yellow guys. This one is a... 473, so it's a 0.047, which is pretty much the same as a 0.05, and 0.05 on this tester comes in right here on the uh, C2 scale. So we'll try this one for leakage at 50 volts. And this capacitor is rated for 630 volts, which is more than this will ever put out. So we have it connected. 50 volts leakage. Perfect. 150. Perfect. 250. Perfect. No leakage. 350. Perfect. No leakage. And 450 volts. Perfect. No leakage. So this capacitor doesn't have any leakage. 
So now we're going to check its capacitance value. So we go to the C C2 scale and look right around 0.05. So we should see an eye opening right here, 0.05. See what we get. And right there, we have our maximum eye opening. Right there. And it's right on 0.05. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit, see if we can see that. Yeah, you can see that. But it's right on 0.05 microfarads. So this capacitor is uh, excellent. No leakage, and it's got good capacitance, a nice wide eye opening. So this capacitor is good, as I would expect from a brand new component. Now I have a couple more paper capacitors I'm going to go ahead and pull out. I actually have a lot more, but I'm going to just go ahead and pull out a couple that I have laying around. And we'll check them, just for the heck of it, because I think t testing capacitors can be pretty fun. Just for the heck of it, to see how leaky some of them are when you're repairing a radio set. Okay, so here's one. This is a .02 at 600 volts, again. .02 at 600 Okay, and since we're already uh, we're already connect, uh, hooked up to the uh, capacitance test, we're going to go ahead and check right now. Then 0 0.02, so that's the C2 scale, and nothing. Maybe a hint of something there, but it's nowhere near where it should be. So this one's bad. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be leaky. Let's see. Keep in mind this is rated for 600 volts. We're going to put 50 across it. Here we go. Yep, not even opening the eye. So this one is bad, which pretty much all of these wax ones are. They don't hold up. Okay, here's another one. This one is a, uh, let's see, it's a uh, Cornell Dubler, made in USA. Let's see, see if I can read the value on it. Yeah, this one's kind of hard to read the value. Okay, point, point oh 0.01 at 600. 0.01 at 600 volts. So we're going to go ahead and hook our tester up here, and then we'll check this capacitor for leakage. Oops, sorry about that. Almost knocked the camera over because my lead came off. See, this? Uh, there's barely any wire left on the end here. I'm just trying to clip that on. Okay, so we have clipped that on. So now let's check for leakage. My camera keeps wanting to fall over. I apologize for that. Okay, so here we go. 50 volts. You can see it uh, opens the eye, but not all the way. There's a maximum opening, and there's what it's opening to. It's a slightly less, but it's not completely leaky like the others were. 150. Not opening the eye at 150. It's bad. And I guarantee you, we check for a value... 0.01 is right here, C2, 0.01, and nothing. So this capacitor is completely bad, as I, as I would expect. Okay, and here's another one. This one is a Zenith branded capacitor, and it's a 0.05 at 450. So 0.05 microfarads, 450 volts. Here we're going to check it for leakage at 50 volts. And it's not opening the eye, so it's leaky. And we'll check a value just for the heck of it. And nothing. No no eye opening. Maybe a little bit down there, but that's way off. It should it should open right right there. So this one is reading completely bad. And uh that's, that's it for today. I guess that's about all I wanted to show you. I just wanted to see if you would enjoy watching me test a couple capacitors on my night uh, RC tester. These are a very useful piece of equipment and they sure come in handy when you're troubleshooting old radios because you can check these old capacitors like I have down here. You can check these for leakage with this instrument and you can also check the value of the capacitor and as well as checking resistors with this unit. So it's a very handy piece of equipment to have in your shop, and I highly recommend anyone who wants to work with old radios, get one of these. It does come in handy if you want to quickly troubleshoot a circuit and find a defective capacitor. This will also check electrolytics for leakage if you turn the switch over to the electrolytic position and it has a power factor 
control here, which is the uh, basically the old term for ESR, or equivalent series resistance. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on my night uh, RC tester made by Allied Radio. And I hope you learned something today as usual, and uh, stay tuned for more videos in the future. And uh, I appreciate everyone who subscribes to my channel and watches my channel. I got another subscriber today. You know who you are. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, everyone have an excellent day and talk to you guys later. Out.